You know, it's hard not to be moved by some of the tragic events that have happened in recent news, like the airport attack in Istanbul or the truck that plowed into a crowd in Nice, France. And with all this evil that we see in the world, sometimes uh, we feel compelled or people feel compelled to argue with all this evil in the world, how can God exist? How can God be real? But the assumption in that argument is that there is evil. But when we assume evil, we also assume good. And when we assume evil and good, we assume that there's some eternal standard that separates the two, that there's some moral law that separates the two. But to assume a moral law is to assume a moral law giver, which is what usually what people are referring to when they say God. Also, when we talk about these things, good and evil, what we ought to do, what we ought not to do, uh, the supreme thing that we can do is, is love. Um, but love requires freedom of the will um, because love that is not free is not love at all. So God, in allowing us to love Him and to love others, um, gives us the potential to choose good. But also, we have the potential to choose evil. And that's one of the reasons why we see all the evil in the world, because people continually choose evil. But when you ask the question of Christianity, um, why doesn't God do something about all the evil in the world? He has in the person of Christ. Christ was punished instead of you for all the evil that is in your heart so that you could have communion with a perfect God. And once we have communion with God, He can start to do away with the evil that is in our heart. So I would challenge you to seek Christ and look for Christ that He might start to transform you and get rid of the evil that is in your heart and we might start seeing uh, some of the evil in this world uh, dissipate. Um, we could not end this uh, without also interceding to God Himself um, so that He could have mercy on us and He could help us in the midst of all this evil. I pray, Lord, that You would be with us as we lose loved ones, as we see these horrific things that develop in our midst. Lord, help us to cope, console, and love our souls, God, as we go through these tough times. Keep praying for those that need it all around the world. And I would challenge you once again to seek Christ, and He'll start to do away with the evil that is in your heart as well.